Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning here in Haiti. I love Sundays. I think Sunday's my favorite day of the week. Uh, we got church going on. I'm about to go in there and go preach. Excited about that. It's been it's been a bit of a heavy couple weeks, hasn't it? message <laughs> 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 yeah, I had, <laughs> I was using an example, and I was talking about kings and rulers, and then I'm like, wait, guys, what's the name of my president? And everybody laughed, because I couldn't remember the name of Biden. You know, like a lot of you, I've been deeply disturbed and troubled by the the news in Europe this week and, and, and watching the destruction and the loss of life and people needed to flee their homes. It's It's been difficult to watch. So I was thinking about what to preach this morning. Uh, I ended up preaching from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, which says that the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he wants. And, and I love that passage for a couple of reasons. One, because it, it shows a clear picture of, you know, a, a king who is like the highest authority in the land, how, how his power and his authority pales in comparison with that of the Lord. Um, but then I love the image that, that he gives, this image of, of the king's heart being a stream that can be directed by the hand of the Lord. It, it, it reminds me of one of my favorite places in Haiti to visit. My favorite place to visit in Haiti is in Verret. Verret is a, in a part of Haiti called the Art of Benid. It's, it's an agricultural area where they have a lot of gardens, a lot of crops, a lot of farming takes place there. And if you were to take a drone and sit it up, up above the farm and, and, and look down and take a picture, what you would see is a whole grid work of of ditches that have been hand dug in the in the garden for irrigation so as water comes in from the river that flows through the city they're able to pull off some of that direct it into that garden and then the farmer can direct that water and tell it where to go by plugging up different ditches so if he wants to water one portion of the garden all he has to do is is take a bunch of dirt and sticks and and plug up one of those ditches and that'll stop the water from going in one direction and we'll redirect it and have it go a different one and and that is a great image for what is being talked about in Proverbs 21 the passage is not saying that that God dictates everything the king does that would be that would be problematic and, and scripture is, is full of different examples of God holding kings accountable for the evil things that they do. But what it is saying, it's talking about the providence of God and, and the idea that he has the ability to change the thinking of a king very, very easily. It's as easy as it would be for a farmer to just take his shovel, move one of those little piles of dirt out of the way, and let the water flow through down to a different part of the garden. You know, I see these images come on my phone of families being displaced and apartment buildings being bombed and, and these kinds of things happening. And, and it can be frustrating in the sense that you feel powerless, you know? One of the encouraging things I took from this passage is that I may feel powerless, but the truth is I'm not. Why? Because I've got the number of the gardener. <laughs> I know the guy who is in control of these major players. 
And so I can go to the Lord and I can say, Lord, would you change this guy's heart? Lord, would you change this guy's heart? Lord, would you bring peace to this nation? I can do that and I can know that he hears me. Anyway, I was encouraged. Uh, I may be here in Haiti, but even though I'm here, I can affect real change in Europe because I've got a relationship with the guy who can do something about it. And so as I pray, I'm doing something real. Um, and that brought comfort to me this week, and that was the point of my message this morning. I had a blast preaching it. I, Sunday's my favorite day of the week, I think. But anyway, if you want to do something more for the people uh, in Ukraine, the organization that we serve with, Cross World, and we have people in the area uh, working with refugees and that kind of thing, and so Cross World has set up a, a fund to help with some of that effort. I'll put a link to that down in the description of this video. Would love to, for you to click there and, and, and give to that fund. And, and in addition to praying, that'll affect real change too. So, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.